Hello, it is Thursday, Wednesday afternoon. Welcome to a brand new vlog. I put out a new vlog every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific. So if you're new here, subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. This week I am going to be covering these meditation cushions. It's kind of an add-on from this project that we did a couple of weeks ago of um, painting these kitchen table and chairs and so then these green cushions don't match anymore so I got this fabric and I think it looks really trendy and cute and I think it'll look much nicer than this fabric also this cushion was way too flat so I went out and got some more buckwheat and filled it up a little bit more and I'm going to cover these cushions and then it will also match the new backdrop for the Yoga with Melissa studio, which is also going to be blue as well. So we're going to be all matchy matchy here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut out four circles in this pattern for the tops and bottoms of these round cushions and then two kind of P shapes or bean shapes for the tops and bottoms of this cushion. This is the one I sit on the most. And then I will be cutting out strips to go around the sides of these, this one and the sides of the circles. So that is the first step to getting started here. And I think it will be, what did they say? Measure twice and cut once. So that's what we'll be having. I mean, this is the most stressful part, I think. <laughs> okay, so I've got all my pieces cut out now, ready for the cushions. And the pleats are done on these ones for the round cushions. This one is just straight. And now I'm going to pin all the pieces together and get them ready for the sewing machine. Actually, it's so funny how little sewing there actually is when it comes to sewing. There's so much prep and very little sewing. So now it's time to pin the pieces together and then it will be time to, I haven't even got the sewing machine out yet. Okay, the first half of this one is done. It's sewn. I just have to pin the second half to it and sew it together and then I'm going to put it on the cushion and then I'm going to go have dinner and take a break and maybe even leave the second two cushions for tomorrow for now but I'm excited this is really coming together now okay so the bean shaped meditation cushion is all finished now and so what I'm going to do now is just sew a stitch across here so these pins I can pull them out and then I'm going to pin it to these circles and start sewing these circles together so that the covers the next step is to do the covers for the circle meditation cushions so it's starting to come together a little more quickly now but it's the next day I decided to take a break and have dinner and sleep and actually we finished up the meditation four day meditation retreat earth meditation retreat and i filmed this week's yoga class and so yeah just uh doing this in stages okay so i stitched the pleats in place you can see all the pinholes here still on on the top and the bottom so i think that's going to make it much easier when i go to pin it and sew it on the circles and so now I'll do the same on the second one. Step by step, it gets done. Okay, I've pinned it all and you can see I've got a little bit of a gap here. <laughs> this is what happens, but it's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew these two edges together and then I'm just gonna have a little bit of a a little bit of a gather here and it's okay because I noticed on my bean shaped one that there was it was this these were generous and so it was kind of baggy on top so I'm it's gonna be okay 
Okay, I sewed down that line there. And so then I just made a little fold there and pinned it. And now I'm gonna sew all the way around. And happy mistake, my needle broke, which, you know, there's always, I find sewing, it's just so great. It's, it builds my, you know, if you wanna learn patience, I think take up sewing, but the needle breaks and then you have to replace the needle. And it actually is really good because this new needle is going through the fabric much more smoothly. And then also I realized that I was having such a hard time threading my needle because my threaders, I don't know, keep my sewing machine underneath my desk and I think something bumped into my threader and it's not working anymore. It's not doing it right. I have to get that repaired. But if you take the needle out every time the thread comes out, it's much easier to thread it than trying to thread it, thread it from here. So happy mistake all around. Now I just take the needle out when it needs to be threaded. It's much easier. And so now that's much, uh, much easier, much faster. Okay, I just thought I would see if it fits before I sew the bottom on. And it fits, <laughs> but I don't know how I'm gonna make it fit with once this is sewn on, even because these are these are hard it's not like the other one where it's malleable with the the buckwheat groats so that's gonna be tricky so anyway it fits and it looks pretty good even with that see even with the fold there but it's a little gonna be a little tricky although they do have um, I think they do have a zipper somewhere that I could maybe let out some of the stuffing, which I might do because they're kind of firm. So we'll see. I, you know, I'm kind of like a fire, I'm a kind of aim fire shoot kind of gal. So I'm probably going to just sew it and try for the best <laughs> and see how it goes. Okay, I'm really getting there. You can see. I've got the shells done with an opening and what I've done is I've opened up the case, found the zipper and you can see I've started pulling stuffing out. It's a huge amount of stuffing on the floor here and that's just the beginning. I can't believe how much stuffing they got in here. I thought about just transferring the stuffing into this but you can see it's not very, this fabric is really just quite flimsy. So this is much more, you know, dense fabric. So I think I really want to put it in. So <laughs> I think it's going to be a process of transferring. So I'm going to try transferring one now and then I'm really hungry. It's dinner time. So I'll do one and then have some dinner and probably do the stitching after dinner. So that was definitely the way to do it. It was no problem to fit the cushion in there once I'd taken some of the stuffing out and now I can fit the stuffing back in but oh my god look at how much stuffing that is like there's perspective there's my foot and look <laughs> like all of that came out of there it's th like this this was stuffed so much that honestly sitting on it my butt would go numb so I think I'm probably not going to put quite so much back in Okay, time to stuff and then I'm going to uh, try and close that zipper again and have some dinner and then I'll stitch this up after dinner. So we finished the project. We, <laughs> <laughs> I finished the project and it was, it was not a bad project actually. It was less work than the table and chairs and I think the cushions look a lot better. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. If you like these DIY videos, let me know um, because I've done a couple of them now. You seem to like them. It's kind of, you know what? It's nice having a vlog because sometimes you get to uh, get things around your house spruced up a little bit. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? If I do it for the vlog this week, it'll get done. <laughs> so that's nice. So these are done and let me know if you like it. Thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you are going to do something similar, you could make a whole cushion yourself this way. And next week we're doing something super, super special that we can only do, what, maybe six weeks out of the whole year, Tim? 
About that? About that, yeah. About that. So guess in the comments what we're doing. I bet nobody can guess. <laughs> I, I, if well, anybody, we're going, we're going don't for say. A hike. Oh, Tim, you just gave it. A, no, you gave you something can say away. That. We can go for a hike, but where do you think we're going? Okay, we are. We so that's a very big hint. We're going for a hike, and if you can guess where we're going, it's somewhere that you can only go six weeks out of the year. Then Tim gave you a really big hint. <laughs> you can go all year round. Uh, oh, for goodness sakes, here we you go can, with the but hints. You need four by fours in the whole bit. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you might as well just tell them. Give them, give them a hangman and fill in the blanks. <laughs> <laughs> this is, anyway, I put a new vlog like this every single Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific. So if you subscribe and turn on notifications, then you will know when they come out because who wouldn't want to <laughs> miss a vlog like this? My goodness, it's, this is epic content. <laughs> You don't want to miss this, man. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week. And on our mystery hike, see if you can guess where we're going. Thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs>